the main mood is unbridled relief. I've been watching ministers wander around with smiles like split watermelons. I think this does one thing. Um, it draws a line under what had been before this war, uh, a period of uh, when a faint air of pointlessness almost was hanging over Downing Street. There was all these slightly tawdry arguments and scandals. That is now history. Uh, Mr Blair is well aware that all his critics out there in the party and beyond aren't going to thank him because they're only human for being right when they've been wrong, and he knows that there might be trouble ahead, as I've said. But I think this is a very, very important moment for him. It gives him a new freedom and a new self-confidence. He confronted uh, many critics. I don't think anybody after this is going to be able to say of Tony Blair that he's somebody who is driven by the drift of public opinion or focus groups or opinion polls. He took all of those on. He said that they would be able to take Baghdad without a bloodbath and that in the end the Iraqis would be celebrating. And on both of those points he has been proved conclusively right and it would be entirely ungracious, uh, even for his critics, not to acknowledge that tonight he stands as a larger man and a stronger Prime Minister as a result. I was brought up, like a lot of people, um, probably post-Watergate film and so on, to believe that journalism was a crusading uh, craft and that there were a lot of um, disputatious, stroppy, difficult people in journalism. And I have to say, I think I know some of them. Well, I know some of the best and best known investigative reporters in the United States. I won't mention names, but uh, whose attitude toward the media is much more cynical than mine. In fact, <clears throat> they regard the media as a sham. And they know and they consciously talk about how they try to play it like a violin. If they see a little opening, They'll try to squeeze something in that ordinarily wouldn't make it through. Uh, and it's perfectly true that the majority, I'm, I'm sure you're speaking for the majority of journalists who are trained, have it driven into their heads, that this is a crusading uh, profession, adversarial, we stand up against power, a very self-serving view. Uh, on the other hand, in my opinion, I hate to make a value judgment, but the better journalists, and in fact the ones who are often regarded as the best journalists, have quite a different picture and I think a very realistic one. How, how, can, you, how can you know that I'm self-censoring? How can you I know don't say that you're self-censoring? I'm sure you believe everything you're saying. But what I'm saying is if you believe something different, you wouldn't be sitting where you're sitting. Support Double Down News on Patreon. Unless we create our own progressive media, we have no chance of fighting against the rabid propaganda of an establishment that is absolutely efficient when it comes to brainwashing people. It is what will make the difference between success and failure for progressive movements across the world.